What's up guy, Jacob Owens here, and right now I'm standing in my gear room, and per your request, I'm making a what's in my travel bag video. Y'all wanna see all my gear? Let's get to it. So basically I'm gonna run through everything I have in my bag and what I take on my different trips, just like the Hawaii video I just shot. So right from the start, we're gonna open up the big pack here. Um, this is the big compartment. Right off the jump, we have the main camera I use for shooting when I travel uh, for video, which is the Sony A7S II. So with the Sony A7S II, I have the Metabones adapter so I can use all my Canon lenses. I have a bunch of Canon lenses um, that are EF mount. So this is an EF Metabones adapter mount. Um, my Canon lens I have on here right now is the Canon 24 to 70 f 2.8 this is kind of my go-to lens for um, photography that i shoot on the 5d mark 3 as well as um, just uh, video stuff that's more handheld when i'm traveling in hawaii this is my go-to piece of equipment um, for the camera this is the devon graham super tramp edition glide cam this is the in my opinion the best glide cam because it comes built in with a hot shoe mount plate and the camera just slides right on and you lock it in and you're good to go. So on the glide cam itself, I use the Sony a7S II with the 16 to 35 Canon L series F4 lens. I don't have this lens in my bag right now because it's actually the lens being used to shoot this video. Moving on, the next lens I have is the Canon 70 to 200 um, F2.8. This puppy is great for those um, long zoomed in shots, doing crash zooms, um, getting really in there, really high quality piece of equipment with image stabilization. Uh, love this lens. Next lens, I have the Sony Zeiss Milvis 50 millimeter macro. This macro lens is good for just super close up stuff like eyes, sand, anything just you want to get macro shots of fingertips, hands. Um, you want some really good detail on trees, foliage, whatever it is, great lens. This is my macro lens I use. This is a Canon EF mount as well. And the last lens I have in this bag is the Sony 28 to 70 um, lens uh, for the Sony a7S II. The reason I got this lens was for this guy. This is the Makinen or Mikinen, I'm not really sure how you say it, underwater housing for the Sony a7S II. And you have to use this lens in this port. This system is built for the Sony a7S II with this lens. So this is the combination for all the underwater shots that I got in Hawaii. Um, it's really cheap and affordable. Over here, I have two GoPros. Uh, both are GoPro 4s. One's the silver, one's the black. I use both these GoPros um, when shooting just kind of stuff, um, underwater adventure action shots. Um, and I have a really cool piece of equipment that I just use this with as well. We have the Connect underwater dome housing and what's really cool about this housing is that it allows you to get some really cool underwater and overwater shots gopro just fits right in here um, and before you do that you put it in this little trigger mechanism and then basically you have the gopro set on a trigger um, with a handle and what this does is it pushes the water level away from the lens of the camera and so you're able to get half overwater half underwater shots it makes for some really cool shots this piece of gear is one of the best pickups I've had in a while. It makes for some really cool video and pictures. So as I was recording the video, one of the video files got corrupted and so none of this stuff was shown. It kind of got all deleted. So real quickly, I'm gonna run through the rest of the stuff I have in my bag. First off, Gorilla Tripod. Use this for my Sony a7S to kind of set it up. I can wrap it around things. I can set it up on the ground. Um, time lapses, little tripod stuff. These are NDs, Tiffin NDs and polarizers for my lenses. So when I'm shooting outside, S-Log2, S-Log3, got NDs and polarizers for photography and video as well. We got um, Lexar card reader, all different formats of the cards. We got the, uh, the air squeezer to clean you know, lenses and different things. Gotta have this, especially when traveling, dirt getting on your lens and sensor. Um, have a battery, couple battery chargers, Sony and the 5D. Always gotta have lens cloths. This is the Mophie, uh, the Mophie to kind of charge my phone and different things on the go. Got a hard drive, the Lacey hard drive with the rubber outside. 
It's got the Thunderbolt connection as well as USB. Um, this is a great drive, really solid, and it's um, got this nice protection on it. Got uh, over here an intervalometer to do uh, photo time lapses with. That's what I use for that. I keep all my batteries in a plastic bag, but I got a bunch of GoPro batteries. Got a ton of Sony A7S II batteries because um, the batteries die really quick on this thing. So I think I have something like 10 batteries in here. 5D batteries, got a good number of those. This is my memory card holder. Um, I got the different memory cards in here. GoPro, 5D, Sony A7S memory cards. Got to have a bunch of memory cards. Um, and lastly, over here, we have this uh, Vid Atlantic. Basically, this screws onto the front of the lens and it kind of gives you some lens flares. And that's the whole purpose of this is to give you some lens flares. It just screws on the front of your lens, just like an ND. Um, it's a cool company. They make different versions of this that give you different types of flares and lens flares, as well as different colors. I think this one creates a blue streak. It's a blue streak filter. Um, they have them in red, yellow, um, different colors. So um, very cool company, Vid Atlantic. Um, they make some really cool filters. And lastly, I have this uh, protector for the 5D. It's kind of acts as like a cool grip and cover for it. I had a lot of people ask me about this. Um, it's this company, you can get all different kinds of designs and colors. I have the yellow one, but this is a, like a casing grip for my uh, 5D. Last but not least, the bag. This is just kind of a generic Evercase bag. Um, it's uh, got a lot of pockets, holsters for gear. It's sturdy, it's comfortable, it's got a lot of straps. It's been good to me. Um, I've liked it as my travel bag. It's not too big and bulky, so it's a good bag. But yeah, guys, essentially that is my travel bag in a nutshell. Everything I use um, gear-wise when traveling and shooting. I hope this helps and you guys get a little insight into the gear I use for you know traveling and shooting and doing some of the smaller independent music videos that I do. If you have any questions about the gear let me know in the comments below let's chat appreciate you guys watching and uh have a good one keep shooting buff nerds